What is up, my friends? We are back with another 7-Day Roguelike from the front lines of nine years ago, 2010 7-Day Roguelike Challenge. This one called Earl Spork. Let's figure out who it's from. Because I always forget to check that before. It's from Deej. Someone named Deej. I will include a link to where you can get it. It's a JavaScript-based game. Um, this one's kind of interesting. It's a uh, fairly straightforward. You're going to see in a second. Um... Unusual both in theme, extremely unusual in theme, but also unusual in um, in execution. But in good ways, I think. Let me just move my mouse away from here so I don't accidentally scroll it around and make a big mess. Here we go. All right. Welcome, Earl Spork. While on your way to a posh dinner party, you have wandered into a crowded cafeteria. If you don't escape, you will be used as a common utensil. This would be a terrible blow to the Spork family name and cannot be tolerated. Make your way to the far side of the cafeteria and escape. Move using all the number keys or the VI keys if you're into that kind of craziness. This is a side-scrolling platformer roguelike game. This means that falling off the bottom of the screen means certain death, as does drowning in any liquid or getting beaten up by bad food. As you can see, yeah, really unusual theme. Let me press a key, but let me press it in the appropriate window, which means i got to bring this up. Give me a second. Bring this up. Um, click it and drag it away so I don't get it in the way. Ah, frack, where am I going to put this? Let me see if I can do this. If I minimize it, am I still in it? Let's see if pressing a key now works. No, that doesn't work. Problem sometimes is placing this thing so I can still... You know what, let's just get rid of this. I'll just play in the actual game. The tiny game window. Okay, pressing the key to continue. Got it. You have a limited jump height, so pay attention to that. If you land on enemies, you will do a great deal of damage to them. You can also bump into them to attack in the classic rogue style. For a powerful ranged attack, press T to fire off one of your tines. You have a limited quantity, but you do grow more as you gain experience. Not only do they hurt enemies, they can shatter fragile objects. Sometimes there is no way to get through a level successfully. This is just the way life is sometimes. I think that's a, an admission that the level generator is not always um, perfect. Is my, is my assumption of what that means. Destroying all your enemies and maximizing your resource use will help. I don't know if there's a victory condition. Can we actually get off the table? Is that... I don't know if it's possible. We'll find out. Or, or if you just go through level after level after level until such time as you die. I'm not sure. Let me press a key. All right. Apparently, Deej's real name is Eben Howard. We've seen that name before. I'll be honest. I can't remember what game we played by Eben Howard, but I remember that name well. If you remember who it was, um, you know, tell me uh, in the comments below. Remind me. My memory is feeble. So here's some tips. Saving your tines for when they are needed most is a good strategy. You only get more when you level up. Try to avoid being beside or below enemies, as they can hurt you easily from there. As long as you're not below them, you can attack them, even in midair. So I guess bumping to attack is per perhaps a certain death. I'm not or, uh, killing them. Here's our enemies. Known enemies. T is for Tofu. Tough, but a poor jumper. O is for P. Weak, but an excellent jumper. S is for Salsa. Really tough, but can't jump at all. And W is for water, kills everything. Background elements, we have napkins with an N. Makes a nice soft spot to land. P is for plate. Tofu hangs out there. B is for bowl. P's like to hide here. G is for glass. Holds water like it was made for it. <laughs> press question mark to see this again. Press any key to return to the game or slash enter the game. Here we go. So N's are napkins. This is a little different than the first time we played. If you want to jump, pardon me, you press up. You press up repeatedly, as you see until it reaches its maximum limit. You can hold there by continuing to press up, or maybe it's not passing my turn, I'm not sure. When you start pressing to the side again, you fall, but it doesn't seem to hurt you, so it's fine. You can't uh, jump, you can't double jump, you can't jump when you're midair, you know? Let's jump as high as we can, and then to the right, and that's not far enough, is it? We're dead. <laughs> you have died, your family name is besmirched. Let's try it again. Apparently, on finishing the game, it crashes. Never a fan of that. This is version 0 0.6, by the way. My assumption is that is the only version that has ever been made. So I can't see any other. Even this, I had to go via the Wayback Machine, I believe. Okay. There's a bunch of peas in that bowl ahead. How do we get across this fucking thing? Do we have to jump from the height of... Maybe, maybe, I don't... I don't know, man. Can we jump from here? I don't know how the hell we get across that... That gap. The gap seems a little long, unless it's suggesting that... No, we're not going to make it that way. Unless it is truly suggesting that there is no way across. Like, this is one of those things where there is no way across. 
Oh, maybe we can go up and I don't, know, I don't know how to do it. Never mind, I got it. I'm an idiot. I think you can use the diagonal keys to sort of jump while going to the right. You don't have to jump vertically the way I was just doing. I understand now. Okay. And of course, now we don't need it. Bunch of tofu in a plate. Yeah, you can go on an angle like that. Okay. Getting across here may be a little bit tricky. Let's find out. Bumped into him. You sure know how to destroy food. Yes, I do. Because <laughs> my wife's an excellent cook. I've had plenty of training. Got him. Yeah, and him. At least with tofu, it looks like a bump to attack will also kill them. So whether you hit them from the side or you hit them from the top, it doesn't matter. But I'm trying to hit them from the top just in case I'm wrong about that. But if I can't hit them from the top, that's fine. There we go, I got him. All right, jump across. More tofu. I don't mind tofu. I know some people are not fans of it, but I think it's a decent enough uh, meat substitute. I'm not vegetarian by any means, but uh, I have nothing against tofu. Whoops. I almost died there, but I didn't quite. Okay. Bump to attack. Okay. Got him. I'm thinking this is a one hit point roguelike, i.e. if we get stepped on or if we fall, we're dead instantly. There's no. Uh, I don't think we have health. We do have the T for times. So we can try that at some point. Let me move this cursor away. I'll put it up here. Those peas are excellent jumpers, that's for sure. They jump a lot higher than I can. You get hit. Oh, no, I have hit points. I see it. Top right. 17 hit points left. I get hit again, damn it. Looks like they're doing one damage. I don't have to kill everything here. I just gotta get across the level, I believe, but... Let's try a Tyne thing. Let's jump up here and fire a Tyne. T. Ooh, I cleared them all right out in a row. That's kinda neat. Good to know that's how it works. I won't use it again unless I know for sure I've got, you know, multiples in my sights. Here we go, right here. Got three of them that way. You killed it on that one! You killed it on that one! You killed it on that one! It's a pretty clever game. I'm not, um, I'm not in, in any genre, even in uh, real time, you know, AAA games. I'm not a fan of uh, platformers. It's just not my thing. But this is a uh, straightforward and and well enough executed that I can figure out how to play, which I love. Oh, I got fucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was a time well spent. We had a good time. This is too too good a jumper. Ooh. Oh, I have hit points thirty-eight. I must have gone up a level. I didn't I didn't see the notification for that. I don't know if there was a notification. I would prefer a little more pomp and circumstance with such a an important event. You can also travel down when you're when you're when you're jumping. You can deliberately say go down, and it does uh, drop you a little faster. So that's kind of interesting. You son of a bitch! Haven't met any water yet or salsa. Oh, there's water. Okay, so we have to jump across that. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, how are we gonna time this? Um, I'm going to use a little pen on my screen and try to map out. Let's go to the edge. I think whether we jump from here or we jump from the one below, it's going to amount to similar things. Maybe there's not a way across this. I don't know. Um, or we could jump from... We could jump from the... That's awful. Uh, sorry, I just had news pop up. There's just horrifying news. All right, we can jump that high. If we jump from there, we can, we'll only end up here. One lower... 
Okay, so we can we can just get high enough to go on top of the glass if we jump from the gray beside it. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna jump up, over, over. I assume I can still go over. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go up on an angle. One. Watch out, there's water down there. I see the water. Uh oh. We're not gonna make it. Uh oh, did we land between it? I know there was a between it. Fuck. Miraculous survival between the water. Didn't realize there was a between space. That's awesome. Let's try and jump up again. Still can't quite make it, but we can do this. Okay. Got it. Jump as high as we can, that way we have time to course correct if we need it. We don't need it. Looks like landing on plates versus... Imagine napkins are a nice soft spot to land, but I think that's just irrelevant. I, I, unless I've been taking damage when I hit this. I haven't noticed that. That would be an interesting uh, thing. Certainly not when you hit a napkin, I guess. Is that salsa? Is that dreaded salsa? Right, we killed it. You can still kill it with one direct hit. It might do extra damage. I don't know what, what the problem with Salsa is. Again, I don't know if there is a victory condition. I hope there is. Let's time some shit. One, two, three, four, five. Kill five things with my mighty, mighty tines. Oops. Not a big problem. I find it... I do, I do find the... Oh, fuck. The very concept of a turn-based platformer, just to be wonderfully... Silly, and it's 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 interesting that it still remains a challenge, even when you have you know infinite amounts of time to course correct, etc. By infinite amounts of time, I mean real time, not turns, obviously, because we are coming down, whether we like it or not, at a certain point. You bastard! I've got sixty nine, man. Oh, I hit it and didn't kill it. Look at that! You attack and hit for five damage, you get hit. Whereas if we came down straight from oh, we're I'm just going to try and kill it manually like this. Just to find out how much it takes. Alright, it's not working. Let's just do that. I could have done that imme immediately. I just wanted to experiment. Um, despite you know, how many times I hit it, it didn't die. I don't know if that means it's impervious. Oops. Press the wrong key. Or if that means I just didn't, you know, hold out faith long enough to really make the difference. It's obviously a limited... Ooh, let's get a ton of them here. Obviously, a limited uh, amount of distance that that thing travels before uh, that time travels before it, you know, expires, because we are killing things off screen. It looks like at times, maybe not. Maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. Um, but we don't necessarily kill everything off screen, you know. Like it's not traveling the full ooh, distance of the level. Bastard. Down to 57, which is not bad. Let's, let's not take any risks falling off the bottom of the screen here. So that P come down off its mountain high. We're not making that jump, darn it. Oh, it stopped scrolling. Am I going to win? You escaped! Press any key to exit. There you go, guys. A winning run of Earl Spork. All it took was learning how to jump diagonally. Well, pretty cool. Not, not you know, overwhelmingly challenging, but a different uh, you know, a change of pace from what, what we see with most roguelikes. So there was, it was pretty cool. I'm glad, I, I'm glad we played it. I'm glad we beat it. 
I'm glad you were here to uh, to share that glorious, glorious victory. I will, as always, include a link below where you can download this game. Uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. you got to get it by the Wayback Machine. It's lost to time if it wasn't for the wonderful people over at Wayback. All right, guys, I'll be back uh, later today with, uh, perhaps if I have time, uh, another Xbox video. Uh, I'm not sure if I have time. Uh, the auditions have gone through the roof lately, which is, I'm not complaining, man. That's literally what I need to get in order to make a living. But uh, I'm averaging about five or six auditions a week, which means I spend a lot of time learning lines. I've got to learn about five pages of dialogue for a Hallmark series uh, this afternoon. Um, so i got to go do that. Um, but that's uh, by way of explanation why there's not as many um, roguelike videos as there was in previous days. Um, that said, we are coming up on the anniversary of uh, Rogue Love, and we have something special, well, special for me. I don't know if you'll give a shit about it, but special for me planned for that day. So stay tuned. I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye.